Hey guys, today we're gonna be working on a downspout that is giving us a lot of issues here. This downspout is located on the corner of the backyard and we have a foundation crack right at this corner of the house. So every time it rains, we get a lot of water coming from this area to the basement. And also the water that was coming down from this downspout was rotting the fence as well. We just replaced this fence, but take a look at how easily we could break that post. And it's because this post was extremely rotted by the water that was coming down from this downspout. So our goal is to bring that downspout from the end of the house all the way to here. And then we're going to bring it down and we're going to add an extension so the water goes away from the property. So this is how it's going to look like at the end of this video. Basically all that water that was coming to the backyard is going to be transferred pretty much as far away as possible from the property. So this way we're not going to have any water issues in that basement. Of course that foundation crack has been taken care of. And also it's not going to rot the new fence that we just built here. There was only two screws holding this down a spout to the actual elbows that are coming from the gutters. So after removing those screws, the bottom part completely came off. This house was coming with 3x3 down a spout pipes, so I went to the store and I picked up a few of these. I cut a two foot section from one of the pipes and then I connected it to the bottom of the elbow that was coming from the gutters. And then I used three screws to keep it in place. Now let me show you how I cut these pipes. This is my good mark where I want the cut to be at. So where I put this X is gonna be this crap. With the help of my screwdriver, I poke a hole into the body of this pipe. Something around one and a half to two inch away from my good mark. Once I poke this hole, I grab my tennis snips and go through this hole and cut the pipe all the way around about one and a half inch away from the actual good mark. Once my cut is made and the pipe is in two pieces, I grab my tennis snips again and cut all those extra material all the way to my good mark. This way we're gonna have a very nice and clean cut onto the mark. I got some good quality silicone and I applied it to the inside part of this pipe. This way these seams are not gonna leak over time. And by the way, these pipes and elbows come in many different colors in case you have a different color installed on your house. So now that I have a good bit of silicone in there, it's time to connect these two pieces together. I line up these two seams together and then I push this elbow right into that pipe. I push it all the way in until it's super nice and snug and then I use three screws to keep it together. These screws are specifically designed for this application and you can get them from any hardware store right at the gutter section. Now it's time to attach a few more pipe sections together and take it right next to the house and see how it looks like. Again, we're gonna line up the seams together. We have a male end and a female end. We're gonna apply the silicone or the sealant to the female end first. In case you're wondering what type of silicone I use, this is what I got from my local Home Depot and it works perfect for applications like this. After the silicone is applied, we push the pipes together and make sure that they sit into each other pretty nice and snug. And then we make sure that it's a straight and we use some screws to keep it together. I like to keep that seam on the very top part of the pipe when I install it right next to the house. This way the seam is going to be facing the sky and with the freeze cycles and the water getting into it, it's not going to fall apart and leak later. Now that my long section and the elbow is made, I place it right on top of that fence and I ask my friend to hold it right from the center so I can go to the backyard and connect that elbow right to the down spout at the very end. And then I came back to this side and asked my friend to hold this pipe so it's nice and straight. And then I put one of these down spout brackets on the pipe. And then I drilled two holes and used tap corner screws to keep it in place. I repeated this process in two or three different spots just so the pipe stays nice and intact in place while I'm working on it. So this is how it turned out. As you can see, it's pretty nice and straight. This is a downspout extension that I got it from my local hardware store. The end part is supposed to move like this and it should be free. I put this at the very end of my downspout and I used three screws to keep it in place. And this is how it looks like after all the screws are in place. I put an elbow at the very end of that downspout that we just installed onto the wall and then I attach that very last piece that we just made into that. And then I added that pipe extension to the last elbow on the very bottom part. And then I used two screws to keep it in place. 
This end piece is supposed to move up and down just like this. There is a holder that keeps this pipe up when you push it up and that needs to be installed at this point. I use the screw to keep that pipe holder onto the downspout and as you can see it keeps it in place when I push it up perfectly. To get a better water flow I cut the very end part of this pipe at 45 degrees. Now that we have this extension in place when you're mowing your lawn you can lift it up and clip it in place. Once you're done with mowing the lawn you can drop it down and it's going to take care of all the water and push it away from the property. At the end I used some more pipe clamps to keep it in place and this is how it turned out. I did this for both of these houses that are sitting next to each other here. Both of these properties are located on top of a hill and all this water from the roof is going to be redirected to the street from now on and they won't have any water issues at least from these two downspouts in their basement from now on. I really hope this video was helpful. I find this very common and I think it's going to be useful on many houses. So I really hope that this video helps you out as well. If you copied this design for your specific house, please let me know in the comment sections how it went. And again, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. There's a bunch of cool videos in this channel. Thanks a million for watching this video. See you in the next one. Till then, peace.